All right, we are back with Unit 7, Section 8, Trig Ratio Applications, which means word problems. Let's go. So we still have the same trig ratios. We're just adding a little context. So so ka toa still applies. Um, so our first example here, you are 50 feet from the screen at a drive-in movie. Your eye is on a horizontal line with the bottom of the screen, and the angle of elevation, which means from the ground or whatever, the bottom of your triangle up to the hypotenuse in this case, is 62 degrees. How tall is the screen? So really what we're trying to do here, this picture especially, we can see we're trying to relate these two sides. So if you go from our angle 62 degrees, it looks like we have the opposite side over here and the adjacent side right here. So what trig function would relate the opposite and adjacent sides? That would be tangent. So tangent of 62 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Um, so we're solving for a side, which means we do not need inverse trig functions. But what we do need to do is multiply both sides by our denominator. So multiply both sides by 50. That will cancel out the denominator of that fraction. And then we're left with 50 times tangent of 62 degrees equals x. So our variable's isolated already. So all we need to do is type in 50 times uh, the tangent of 50 or 62. And we get 94. Let me make sure here. 94.04. Now, we are talking word problems, so we do need labels. Our label for this one would be feet. So 94.04 feet. Um, you are a pilot, that's a scary thought, and preparing to land an airplane. Yikes. The angle of depression is three degrees. So you can see here from our picture, we kind of have this imaginary line out here. The angle of depression here is 3 degrees. Find the length of your approach path D, which is the hypotenuse, um, when you are 500 feet above the ground. So you're going to have to do a little thinking here. Um, that purple line that I drew there makes a 90 degree angle. We know that the angle of depression is 3 degrees. So that means that this angle right in here the angle inside the triangle that I really need would be 90 minus 3 or 87 degrees so we're just doing some uh, little pre-work here to find our angle so now we're trying to relate this side and our hypotenuse D and it looks like that would be the adjacent and like I said the hypotenuse so what trig function would relate the adjacent and hypotenuse hopefully you're sitting there telling me that it is Cosine. I know you're just yelling at your screen right now saying, hey, I know what this is. It is cosine. All right, all right, settle down. It is cosine. Cosine of 87 degrees equals adjacent, so 500 over um, D, the hypotenuse. So same as the last example, we're not finding an angle. We're finding a side, so we do not need inverse trig functions. So we're going to start by multiplying by our denominator, D. Now cancel those out. So D times cosine of 87 degrees equals 500. So in the last example, my variable is isolated already. In this example, it is not. We have to do one more step, um, which would be divide by cosine of 87 on both sides. Okay, we're just gonna hop on up over here. So that cancels out these cosine of 87s on the left side. So we have D equals 500 divided by cosine of 87. And same thing, you can pop open your calculator. Um, you can type it exactly like that. So 500 divided by cosine of 87. And we have 9,553.66. And then... 9,553.66, and then just make sure you get the proper label, which right here is feet. Um, there you go. Um, 9,553.66 
feet. It does say round as near as foot, so I guess I should probably read the directions first here. So D equals 9,554 feet. There we go. All right, why not another one? To calculate the height reached by a model rocket, uh, you move 100 feet from the launch pad and record the angle of elevation, x. So you can see here in the picture again, the angle of elevation is from the ground or from the bottom of your triangle up to our hypotenuse. Um, to the rocket at its highest point, find the angle of elevation to the nearest degree. So make sure we round appropriately here. If the maximum height of the rocket is 700 feet. Feet. So again, we're trying to relate this side and this side from our angle X, the angle of elevation here. So it looks to me, oh, there we go, it looks to me like we have the opposite side and the adjacent side, which means there can only be one trig function, which is tangent. So let's go tangent of our angle, which is X, we don't know equals opposite, so 700 over 100. So now this time we are trying to find an angle, so we do need inverse trig functions. So we are gonna take, um, I don't know if this is gonna show up. We're gonna take the inverse tangent, and what that does is it takes tangent and moves it to the other side. It leaves x right there on the left. So tan inverse of 700 over 100. Now that's just a fraction, it's just a vision. You could clean it up, you know, 700 divided by 100 is, I mean, hopefully you know that it's seven. Um, or you can just type it into your calculator how you see it. So remember we need to hit the second button and then find the tan inverse there. Um, and then like I said, you can go 700 divided by 100. Oh, missed a zero, 700 divided by 100. You get 82 degrees if you round. Or, like I said, you could divide 700 by 100 and just say that that is 7. Let's see if that just works out the same. So tan inverse of 7. And sure enough, it's the same thing. So you can simplify the fraction or you can just type it in how you see it. And there we go. So the angle of elevation was 82 degrees oh that's a gross looking color um and that is it for unit 7 section 8